Hello there. I am Dr. Purnendu Roy. I am a surgeon in Genesis Hospital. And one of the commonest thing that we see is gallstone disease. The questions that arise, I thought I will discuss those. First question, why does the stone form? Now, there are myths about our elderly ladies recently told me very sweetly that my ration rice that I get is filled with kanker. And yes, sare kanker has gone and got accumulated in the gallbladder. No, the kanker don't go and get accumulated in the gallbladder. First, we need to understand the biliary anatomy. Liver forms the bile. Bile is a solution of cholesterol, bile salts, bile pigments. And from the liver, the duct comes out, common bile duct. And this duct takes and opens into the intestine in a sphincter. And the bile goes and helps in digestion. The other duct, which is the cystic duct, through which the bile comes and gets stored in the gallbladder. The gallbladder only stores the bile, it doesn't manufacture the bile. Now when food comes in the stomach, gallbladder contracts and then the bile comes and helps in digestion. If the gallbladder doesn't contract very well and if the bile has the composition, either cholesterol or pigment is in excess, the bile which settles in the gallbladder gets deposited and forms crystals. And now what happens is, they formed solidified stones over there. And when the food arrives, if the gallbladder pumps now, the, the stone goes and gets stuck in the neck and then the pain starts because the gallbladder tries to pump the bile out of the gallbladder to help the digestive process. How will the person understand? What are the type of symptoms? Now, one, it can be without any symptoms. If you ever go to do a routine health checkup, it might be detected. Now, why do we still advise surgery? It's not that we advise surgery because of pain, because the stone can create complications like it can come out of the gallbladder, go and get stuck in the bile duct and cause jaundice. It can, granules go into the pancreatic duct where it joins with the bile duct and cause severe pancreatitis and if a stone is there in gallbladder form long it can cause gallbladder cancer the detection is done either by an ultrasound scan which is painless or sometimes we do an mri scan which we call mrcp magnetic resonance cholangiopancreatogram now this is all about how the stone forms how are the what are the symptoms and how we diagnose but the question comes, what if we don't do surgery? Can it be treated with medicines? No. Once a stone has formed, we still don't think that there is any medicines which can dissolve the stone. And the only option is surgery. Gone are the days when you cut open the tummy and put your hand inside and do surgery to take the gallbladder out. Now it is minimal invasive surgery, which is called laparoscopic surgery. And in brief, lap coli. So to understand how this surgery is done, we need to go into the hospital. So come, let's go. We'll get into the operation theater and we'll see how surgery is done. Okay? Right. Well, now we are getting inside the operation theater and we need to change into operation uniform. No, I can't take you over there. That's it. Now we are ready to go inside the operation theater. Come with us and then you can see surgery. First, when we go inside the operation theater, we need to wash our hands with antiseptic and we use povidone iodine. And that's the technique by which we wash our hands using povidone iodine. And once we have cleaned our hands, then we go inside the operation theater, wipe our hands dry, wear a sterile gown and gloves. If you look at the layout of the instruments, the hand instruments are very long because we hold it from outside and operate inside the abdomen. First, we get an access. This is a vent flon because we need to give medicines. So inside a vein, we put in a line and then we connect with any of the intravenous fluid, saline or dextrose. Anesthetist is going to push the medications to induce anesthesia. And once the patient is put under induction, he puts a tube called endotracheal tube inside the 
respiratory tract, that is trachea. This patient is completely anesthetized and now once we are cleaned and drained, first we put an incision inside the navel and take a needle. This is called varies needle, put inside the abdomen and connect it with carbon dioxide gas. This causes swelling of the abdomen and we take the needle out and put a trocar inside. The trocar is a hollow tube through which we pass the telescope or laparoscope. The laparoscope is connected with a video camera. We make three other ports and through which we have the instrument. Looking at the television, we are operating and anesthetist is ventilating the patient. Look at the way we are putting the other ports. Because the camera is inside the abdomen, when we are putting the port, we can see and it does not hurt any intestine. So with the help of Maryland dissector, we dissect out the cystic duct and instead of ligating, we put clips. For double septi, we put two clips at the lower end on the cystic duct, one at the upper end and cut it with a scissor. To take the gallbladder out instead of a scissor, what we use is a hook. The hook is connected with a diathermy machine which passes electrical current and it kind of coagulates and fulgurizes so no bleeding takes place as you can see. And the whole gallbladder is removed from the liver and with the help of an extractor we take the whole gallbladder along with all the stones. Once that is done, we put the stitches. These stitches are called subcuticular. The stitch remains inside the skin and that's why cosmetically it is better and the scar is not visible. Suddenly remembered my professor saying <laughs> that the anesthesia is so perfect now that when the last stitch is put, the patient should be able to say thank you, which means that there is no fear of whether the person will recover from anesthesia or not. Now the advantages of laparoscopic or minimally invasive surgery are one, because the incision is so small, bleeding is less, the pain is much less, recovery is very quick, and you can go back to work and scar cosmetically, it is much better. If you liked watching this surgery, please share with your friends and subscribe to my channel and we'll keep showing you such interesting procedures and operations. Thank you very much for watching.